Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new video. We have another episode. This one is more full of celebrity news and little tidbits that I gathered throughout the week. We have a couple of dramas that aired and also some changes last minute. So let's just get into that portion. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notification bells to all in order to not miss out on future uploads. Everything you will need is in the description box below, titles, links, and more. So let's just jump on into it. First off, we have Aichi Yi's Rocket Mom, starring Yao Chen and Zhuang Dafei. This is one that I've been looking forward to. It airs on October 11th. This is a story between a mom and a daughter and the daughter is into rock so is the mom they end up actually joining the same band and from that little synopsis i feel like it's going to be a heartwarming and fun one i honestly haven't um watched anything recently i kind of dropped everything or put everything on hold i kind of have been in a little bit of a drama slump so maybe this will get me back into it we had the announcement that she and her perfect husband was supposed to premiere on October 13th. However, today, which is October 11th when I'm filming, they just randomly updated it and said that the schedule is changed from October 13th to unknown or stay tuned again. So this kind of happened with the Oath of Love a couple of times. It's super weird, but um, let's just hope that they will air it this year. If not, I feel like um, Oath of Love was like pushed and pushed because they were looking for like the perfect slot or the perfect timing that will maximize their profit. So that might be the case. On October 14th, a modern romance web drama called Cute Bodyguard starring Liu Te and Ling Mei Shi airs. Moving on to drama wrap-ups and um, I guess little teasers or promotion materials. We have Love from the Game Bug. This is a recently wrapped up drama. It's a fantasy romance web drama starring Zhou Jiacheng and Ge Chiu Gu. Next we have Bona Pictures Spy Film which doesn't really have an English title at the moment, but this is getting so much hype due to the casting of it. You have Wang Libo and Tony Leung on the GQ cover for the October 2022 issue. I believe this took so many months to film and it looks very high quality, something like over five to six months, which is kind of crazy. Tony is definitely a legend in terms of Hong Kong cinema. Anything with his name basically has a lot of prestige and I can't wait to see how Wang Yibo will take on this new role. He's been challenging himself and doing a lot of movie roles, which I'm looking forward to. Also a drama that dropped, um, not really themselves that dropped these promotional material, but we got some insiders um, leaked photos. I'm guessing they're more like fan pics or staff, but it stars Johnny Huang and Zhang Jingyi in their upcoming drama, Walking Through Fire For You. So it's currently filming and it's a story about a romance between a firefighter and a reporter. We're getting a lot of firefighter dramas. I've just been so scarred with um, the previous dramas that just didn't do it justice at all. So crossing fingers that all these upcoming dramas will learn from the past mistakes. Next is a official Doban score for Mr. Bad starring Shen Yue and Chen Zhou Yuan. Are you guys watching this? What are your thoughts on it? Well, this drama got a score of 7.1 by over 120,000 people. Moving on, we have the update for Deng Lin. So recently a fan encountered him and he was spotted at some sort of sports facility it seems like he and his friends were just hanging out and he's been very into competitive frisbee lately according to the fans this isn't the first time they spotted him here the fan who shared the news said that he looks happy and healthy i don't think they approach him they just took pictures of him um playing i couldn't get the picture it was um, a little bit blurry but he was basically in sports gear and in a black cap his side businesses are also doing very well, so even if he decides to officially retire, he can still make profit through his tea company and he looks honestly relaxed and at ease. Maybe he's just gonna go away for a couple years 
and make a comeback elsewhere if he wants to. But if not, he always has the option to continue his life in a low-key manner while um, developing his business side. Speaking of changes in career, we have the news that Wu Lei has been considering becoming a fitness coach when he's not filming. With future plans to break into the fitness industry due to his strong passion for fitness and health. So perhaps he wants to own a gym in the future or something, or he wants to like start an online membership program. Um, not saying that he's completely dropping acting, but instead he's just taking on less dramas. So let's just say instead of taking on two dramas and two films a year, he's only taking on one of each. So cutting that time in half so he can put more effort and time into developing another passion of his that can end up being an option for a later time if he decides to change occupation. We all know that he's a fitness junkie, working out every day, doing hikes, long hours of bike riding, up mountains and various trails, very outdoorsy person. Just because you're successful in a field doesn't mean that you have to, I guess, go for it if it's not your passion. So I'm glad that he's trying out different things. It's better than regretting it like five to 10 years down the line, hoping that you should have started on that project you always wish to start on. The next news is Tan Jun Su, who was revealed to be a bit superstitious. It was revealed that over the couple of days ago on his birthday, the idol actor held a small party celebrating his birthday. He was seen around a brazier. I think this is like a large fire. A lot of people used to use this like in various rituals and ceremonies. So they took a picture of him like it looks like he's chanting and the guest parties around him were um, praying. Apparently, this ritual is supposed to get rid of all the bad luck. Well, I'm not too superstitious, but I guess if it gives him a peace of mind, then good for him. Hope his career goes smoothly. Now on to the rumor section. So following the rumors of last time, we talked about the possibility of a couple of actresses getting the Golden Eagle Goddess Award at the end of this month. They added two new candidates on the list, making this like the top five um, female actresses considered for this award. So first off, you have Seven Tan, then you have Yang Zhe, Zhao Jin Mai, Li Qin, and now we have Zhao Lu Si. Yeah, I was literally wondering where Zhao Lu Si was. I swear she's been quite popular the past like two to three years and she's been taking on a lot of big name projects. I feel like out of all these big name candidates, Zhao Lu Si and Yang Zhe might be like the top competitor just because they've, I think, done the most um, successful bigger drama roles in recent years. We had the rumor that The Longest Promise will air after she and her perfect husband airs, but now that there's a random delay, I don't know if that's still true, but they said that it's still going for a late November and early December slot. Arthur Chen and Yang Chaoyue are rumored to star in an upcoming Tencent historical fantasy wuxia drama called The Sword. I think that Yang Chaoyue has been working very hard lately and we'll probably see most of her dramas air next year. She's in a couple of shenshas and it looks like she's focusing on the historical shensha period costume drama type of genre instead of taking on modern roles. Next is a rumor for Wang Anyu and Zhang Ronan for an upcoming romance drama called Spring Banquet. The costume drama Long Life Long Street is one I feel like I encounter new rumors every single month. And this month, the rumor is that the female lead is either going to go to Angela Baby or they might go for a younger actress, Song Juer. And the male lead role may go to Luo Yunxi. This is a historical drama with quite a big um, budget behind it. So I'm guessing they're gonna take a while to really figure out what they wanna do with it. I would like to see Lorena Song take on a costume drama and I'll be happy that she's able to gain such a big project. But I don't know how I feel about um, the chemistry with her and Lo Yunxi. I feel like maybe Angela Baby would be better, but I don't know. In friendship news, 
we'll end things off with um, a couple of reunions or maybe it's the first time you're hearing about these pairings, then yeah, they're friends in real life. So we have Janice Wu visiting Liu Yifei on her currently filming set with Li Xian. Go to a windy place. And last but not least, we have the Bad Kids reunion. They went to visit Universal Studios together. So we have Wang Shangdi and Rong Zixian. I swear they look the same, except in height they just both had a growth spell like over the past like two years and grew so tall they should definitely collab again as for the emoji of the day if you're new to this we kind of do an emoji game at the end of each episode to make sure that you're watching all the way and it also helps out the algorithm so do participate if you can some people don't know what to comment so i kind of just give them an emoji something along the lines of what we talked about so today let's do a guitar emoji if you have one if not do anything related to music for rocket mom airing also a big shout out to yvonne who recently bought me a kofi links in the description box below kofi coffee thank you so much for supporting the channel out it means so much to me i probably sound like a broken record but it's true Lots of interesting episodes, news, and stuff coming up. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.